Welcome back to Tiny Blue Games. My name is, of course, Seesaw or Chris, and today we're talking about Guild Wars 2 in 2021. And today we're talking about the fourth beta event for the End of Dragons expansion. Now, the End of Dragons expansion comes out in February 2022, which is actually coming up pretty quick. I in, in the past few beta videos, I keep saying February and it sounds so far away, but we're in December, we're getting close. I'm really excited, but today we are talking about the Siege Turtle. This is the first time we're able to interact with this new mount coming to Guild Wars 2. If you're someone who doesn't play a lot of Guild Wars 2, or at least hasn't interacted with the mounts, when I say Siege Turtle, this doesn't just mean like a new cosmetic or a new kind of mount skin to go and unlock. It does in fact mean that, but it also means a completely new way to traverse the lands of Tyria, which is super, super cool. I think mounts are one of the most impactful things Guild Wars 2 has not only done for itself, but probably for the MMO genre as a whole. Like, I think... It's really impressive when a game can do something that makes it kind of the, the best in class for the genre, and I think mounts are probably that. I should do a video about that, but all this to say, I'm a huge fan of mounts, and I was excited about the Siege Turtle. So in this video, we're going to check out the Siege Turtle. So we, we kind of spawn into the same map, the Lion's Ark map, with everyone else, and the first thing you're going to notice is a ton of turtles, because everyone's coming into the same spot, and unlike a lot of other things we've tested, like specializations and stuff where you kind of need monsters to fight, you can jump right onto your mount in the city. So that's what a lot of people do. And the first thing you're going to notice is how big these mounts are. At least that's the first thing I noticed. I was just standing there and there was turtles everywhere. And I was like, wow, these things are, these things are huge. And there's, there's a few things to unpack here. Number one, I do enjoy the size because they're also kind of a slow sluggish creature, you know, almost like a turtle, if you will. Not to say they can't pick up some speed, but certainly when you start moving with them, it's got kind of a very delayed feeling. And I think it works really well with the size. They've done such a good job with all of their mounts, but especially this turtle mount and making it feel like it's got mass to it. I, I always think back, you know, I want before the first expansion of Guild Wars 2, one of my main complaints about Guild Wars 2 is that you felt like you were locked to the ground and it, your character was kind of like weightless but also anchored there and not able to explore and I, I just always like to think how far we've come you know going from gliders to mounts to these different types of mounts to being able to fly around on griffins and dragons to these turtles like if i could tell myself what this game was going to do in terms of movement i don't know if i would have believed that it would be such the improvement it was so that tangent aside, the turtle is big and slow. Now, the, the con to this that you're probably noticing watching my screen at the start here, it takes up a lot of space. And Guild Wars 2 already kind of has a visual clutter issue, you know, come coming from having a bunch of mounts, having these big thrones that you can sit in, being able to do it pretty much on top of everyone in like main cities and stuff, as well as the cosmetics that have glowy effects and stuff. Like clutter is kind of something that they've just accepted and it, it's fair because it's fashion wars too essentially you, the end game is the cool things you can wear and show off and limiting that would be a challenge for people so that's that's the one kind of negative i'm going to say is that they're they're quite big which does take up a lot of room if you're in a city or something like that i can just imagine trying to get to like an npc and just like a ton of turtles around it or near it uh but yeah so that aside the turtle is also really cool. The main things you get to experience on the turtle um, is obviously moving around. You're going to walk on your mount. As I mentioned, it starts pretty slow, but it kind of has this speed bar in the bottom area, kind of above or near your, your dodge area. And as you continue walking in the same you know, momentum, you start picking up speed. There is a, a top speed and you reach it pretty quick. When you are at top speed, you feel kind of like normal in terms of like how you're traveling it's not like one of the fast mounts you know you're not you're not going to be going roller beetle speeds or or raptor or anything like that but you're you're going fast enough that you feel comfortable whereas when you're starting you feel pretty slow uh the other things are these massive jets that the turtle has you can hold down spacebar to kind of like hover and do these big jumps into the air which is really fun uh specifically if you're coming down from like tall spaces you can kind of like space out the jumps and kind of kind of glide down-ish, which kind of feels really cool with the heavier creature. 
you do take a fair bit of like mount damage when you do land from height so be cautious of that that you can kind of fall off your mount and just be uh be out of luck uh the other part though is the number one ability or at least i have it bound to my number one ability is the the kind of a smash it does like a a body smash to the ground which really works once again with that heavy feeling and with that you can do a fair bit of damage to any creatures that you come smacking down on which i think is really cool and it just overall makes the the weight of the mount feel good uh, so the other thing here is that it's a two-person mount, which is really exciting as well. It was a bit of a challenge to test because uh, I was like, wait, how am I going to try out the gun? Uh, so I went into the party chat being brave and made a friend who <laughs> let me sit on their mount and I got to try shooting the cannon and it felt so cool to have someone else in control of the mount while I'm just firing off my bullets. I think it was... I don't know, I can just imagine friends going through End of Dragons like this, and it would be such a cool bonding experience. Or just having, you know, a, a pack of guild members that have, like, two people on each mount and doing stuff together like that. It just sounds so cool. The actual gun itself was essentially like a, a mortar cannon that you would find in a quest area in Guild Wars 2. You kind of get, like, a ground-targeted area, you push the fire, and then a few seconds later it'll have kind of a, a mortar-ish looking thing come down, or an energy block last, I guess, come down from the sky in that area. So I, there's a bit of a delay that might be difficult in terms of hitting things. I think essentially what I would plan with my friend is, is if you were trying to utilize that is kind of do like small circles with you blasting uh, kind of just behind you and having the creatures kited. I don't know how effective it would be to use as your primary source of attack. I assume it's probably balanced in a way that it's useful in some situations, but for most actual fighting situations, you probably want to just get off and use your weapons. Because uh, I, I doubt that End of Dragons is meant to become just turtles do everything. So that's that's my, my thoughts on that. We'll have to see what balancing changes as time goes on. I should mention that. I should have mentioned that at the start. This is a beta, of course. Anything you see here can change, will change. These are just my initial thoughts, but yeah, I thought the mortar shell was pretty cool. I tried driving while the friend fired, and that worked pretty well too. Uh, you know, you get to do the sim same things you get to do kind of on the, the ground just by yourself, so you can jump around, you can do your kind of smash attack and stuff like that. Uh, so you get to have some fun, even if you aren't in charge of the gun. I think I kind of prefer being the driver's seat because I often... Whenever I'm in a, a multi-person mount, the most frustrating part is when I'm like, no, I know where we're supposed to go. You're going the long way. You know when you're, you're driving in the real world in a car and someone else is driving and you're like, no, you're taking the wrong route. That, that's what it feels like sometimes. So one thing to keep in mind. Uh, some other cool things, when exposed to water, the turtle mount actually sinks. So uh, one of the coolest things I did while trying it out was just walk into a lake and sink to the bottom. And just like that the objects on the bottom of the lake all of a sudden are like actual real world things you have to kind of go over. Now of course you do have the jetpack so you can kind of glide through the water um, and you don't necessarily have to walk on the bottom but it's it's a really cool thing to do if you are interesting interested in it and it makes me wonder if they'll have some really unique water parts of the map in the the new expansion that kind of play with this. For instance wouldn't it be cool if there was a turtle race that had to do with walking under the water and stuff, and it, it was very themed based on that, which I think would be really cool. I have no idea, but but yeah, that would be cool. And maybe, I don't know, maybe we've seen one in a... <laughs> I haven't watched all the live streams, so maybe there is something like that. But I, I think it would be a unique thing that they could do with the turtle. The very final part that I also uh, enjoyed playing with, and there's, there's kind of a, a pro-con to this as well, the fire that comes out of your jets that you jump with actually can light creatures on fire, which I think is such a cool detail to realism. Um, and it is quite useful if you're trying to damage, once again, AoE creatures, and you're the person who's driving them out, you can do your, your big smash, and then you can also light things on fire. Um, if you're hovering above them using your jets, you can even get up to like nine stacks of fire for a brief period of time, which is pretty good for a mount, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, the, the con to this is if you're kind of just walking past peaceful creatures and you're not trying to, uh, to get heat, you can, uh, light some things on fire by accident, which is, it, when I was trying to get the screenshot for this video, the amount of things I set on fire by accident while trying to line myself up, I, I start the, started to feel the con to that, so something to keep in mind. 
But yeah, there's the brief overview of the turtle. I didn't want to go too in depth. There might be things I've missed. What are your thoughts on the turtle? That's what I want to hear, because I think this is, it's just one tiny piece of the expansion, but it's honestly one of the pieces I'm so excited for. I think Guild Wars 2 mounts are such a special thing in the MMO space, and they just keep on coming up with like new, unique approaches. Like I said, there's like, I want to say seven or eight different mounts that feel completely different from one another. So I'm just always excited that they've had a new take on how to traverse the already crazy traversal ways of Tyria. Like there's just so many ways you can get from point A to point B, and that's just super exciting. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I say, share your comments in the comments below. Toss it a like if you like this type of content. I should mention I am a Guild Wars 2 partner, so you will find some links in the description. These are sponsored links. If you do use them, it does support the channel, so keep that in mind. There is one to try out the game for free. There is one to purchase the expansions if they're something that you're interested in. All that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.